original plan was to do an uh, unboxing video, but uh, that plan went out the window as soon as I saw the boxes. So now I'm just going to uh, show uh, what I just got in, where the boxes are. Yeah. All right, first up we have 200 feet of Samson 916 bull rope. So this is the 13,300 pound average brake strength, uh, 2,600 pound working load limit line. I had 150 feet of this, but uh, I got a tree coming up that's uh, kind of rotten. Yeah, it's got a weak point right in the middle, so I need something longer. I'm going to climb up, attach this near the top, and then uh, tie it off to another tree to uh, support it while I'm uh, rigging down limbs. So that is pretty nice. Next up, we got one of the big rope bags, piece of rope bag for that 200 foot rope because, uh, yeah, it's going to need a big bag. Picked up a couple clevises, always come in handy. These are the uh, 50,000 pound rated ones, so always good to have around. All right, next up, got two DMM Shadow non-locking carabiners. These are rated at 24 kN, so while they're tough enough for life support, they, as you can see, are not locking, which is exactly why I got them. Um, one of them is going to be used for my clipping steps and make it easier to clip in. And I got another one just for uh, whatever, because they're sexy. Picked up a new ring for my saddle. The uh, current ring I'm using is uh, a bit smaller, and I sometimes have trouble, uh, you know, connecting to it. And if I'm running, uh, you know, one of my lanyards as a center point attachment and my rope as well uh, it gets really tight in there so this one's uh, bigger than the other one I'm currently using all right next up we have the ESA block so this is a hundred KN minimum brake strength oh right there all right so this is a working load limit of 20 KN so uh, right at about 4,500 pounds Mainly going to be used as a, a redirect pulley and uh, also just a uh, lighter stuff when I don't need big guy. And I will say, for the price, this feels like a pretty hefty piece of equipment. Uh, you know, the reviews on it were pretty damn good. Um, you know, there are definitely better ones out there, but also significantly more expensive. I think this one was like 140 bucks. And for the money, I'm believing it's going to prove to be a uh, great block. Next, got a porter wrap. Uh, this is the Buckingham, I believe, medium. Uh, it is quite a bit smaller than I thought it would be. I just, I guess, didn't realize that the ones I'm used to using are the uh, large or the extra large or whatever. And uh, so I was thinking this was going to be of a similar size. This thing is actually pretty small. So I'll be ordering another one. Uh, or maybe I'll just make one. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely be using it, just uh, not on giant stuff. All right, so we picked up the Samson Splicing Toolkit. Uh, splicing something I would definitely want to get into. I have already spliced one uh, three-quarter 10x, this guy, into a uh, dead eye sling. Actually, I'll be using this with the, uh, my new porter wrap. Along the lines of splicing, picked up uh, 20 feet of the Samson 10x three-quarter wrench, uh, 10x tech, actually. Uh, going to be making a uh, loopy sling or maybe a whoopy sling. Haven't really decided yet out of this stuff. All right, this one I'm really excited about. This is half inch am steel. I got 20 feet of it, so this is 30,000 pound minimum brake strength. Uh, planning on uh, splicing a probably loopy out of this stuff and using it to, with uh, one of the next uh, upcoming products. So picked up a crawl. Actually, not going to be using it on my chest. I'm going to be making a uh, rope walking system with it. So I picked up some accessory cord and some bungee cord uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, going to be uh, making my own rope walking system. So that's what uh, this guy's for. Picked up a foot ascender. Uh, I've been using foot ascender, obviously, if you're watching my videos, but uh, that one's actually my boss's. So picked up uh, this new Pantene. Heard that the old ones were a bit better. Uh, haven't really used the new one, so I can't really say one way or another. But uh, I did have an accessory option that you can pick up, which is a lock. So I got that as well. 
So I'll be putting that on, trying it out, seeing how it goes. I will say this one's significantly smaller than the old school one, which is the one I've been using. So, uh, I don't know. This does have the uh, dual spring in there though. You know, real light uh, resistance here, and then a heavier resistance past that point. New throw weight, because when I get my throw weight stuck, I often grab it with my stick saw and cut them open. So, I'm always getting throw weights. And the last thing to come in, Oh, fuck yeah. Even this packaging gives me a hard on. Oh, I'm riled up. This thing is hefty. I don't have giant hands, but I don't have small hands either. Look at that. It's got some weight to it. DMM large impact block. Got a decent sized tree coming up. Needed something big, so that other block I picked up as a redirect, really. And this is going to be taking the brunt of the load. 300 KN minimum brake strength. That's 67,000 some odd pounds. Working load limit, 30 KN. That's what, 6,500, 6,700 pounds, I think. Somewhere right around there. This thing, as you can see, has the uh, hollow sheave. So you can run a second line at the exact same time. All rounded edges, not going to screw up your rope. It is just freaking sexy. I'll be doing a review on it once I've used it a bit and get familiar with it and uh, actually have an opinion. But uh, I'm sure I'm just going to freaking love it. So, anyway, that's my new gear. Looking forward to uh, using it. Have a good one, humans.